Okay. So Rakesh says framework is a combination of software and hardware and software is a package. Yeah. So the framework actually depends on a lot of things. And also the framework is a configurable, configurable entity. The software is not, for example, you, you get a CRM software, right? You install the CRM software, you run the CRM software. What, what, what else you will do? You will not do anything, right? But framework is not that. Framework is something on top of that you can run a lot of things. It's like an operating system. It's not an operating system. It is like an operating system. You can install things on top of a framework. Like, for example, Hadoop. So Hadoop is a framework. So there are like thousands of applications which you can install on top of Hadoop. So Hadoop will serve as the, what do you say, uh, base for all those applications. So, so it's a very uh, vague misconception that people have. People say that, oh, I have Hadoop software. No, no, you don't have Hadoop software. Hadoop is not a software. It's a framework. Okay, so that's one thing that I want to clarify. It allows for the distributed processing of large data sets. Yeah, so you can process large data sets. It is distributed processing. Very, very, very important. Distributed processing means your processing runs on more than one machine. Now, we will discuss that in very detail when we come to that point uh, of large data sets across clusters of computers using simple programming model. That's fine. It is designed to scale out from single of machines each offering a local computation and storage yeah the machine in a hadoop cluster are run off the mill cheap com oh. <laughs> what's that some problem the sentence is not correct the machine in hadoop clusters are run off the mill cheap computer oh. no that's wrong <laughs> i mean yeah i don't know i mean some sort of a grammatical mistake the point could have been the machines are cheap Okay, so <laughs> I thought like maybe I'm drunk or what? <laughs> Not drunk. I'm perfectly okay. I'm sober. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't know. I, I got the point. Okay, so the sentence is not able to figure out, but I got the point. The point is that uh, the machines in a Hadoop cluster are commodity hardware or cheap computers. So that's a, that's the most important point. So let's say you want to build a Hadoop cluster want to build a Hadoop cluster okay and you are planning to uh, use 10 machines okay so you're forming a Hadoop cluster with 10 nodes or 10 machines okay uh, now these 10 machines can be anything it can be a laptop it can be a desktop it can be a high-end server it's your choice Hadoop will adjust accordingly. So there is no hard and fast rule that you must have the state of the art server. So that's one problem, right? For example, you are installing, let's say, Teradata. For a, I'm, I'm giving you a rough example. Okay, so imagine you're installing some database management tool, something like Teradata. You have a very strict guideline. You should have this server, this much RAM, this much processing power. Here, no rule. Hadoop will perfectly run if you give 512 MB of RAM. Perfectly. Or maybe 1 GB of RAM. You give it 64 GB of RAM, it will work accordingly. You give... important point here because organizations who want to do big data deployment yes right can you hear me now yes yeah some sort of a problem i don't know what so the point that i was trying to make was that organizations who want to invest in big data and analytics uh, Hadoop is their friend because they can buy real cheap hardware and start creating a cluster. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. You are buying more. So like you are buying 10 servers or maybe 100 servers or maybe 1000 servers. So the individual uh, what do you say configuration doesn't matter. So the so the machines in a Hadoop cluster can be really uh, what you say commodity hardware we call it as commodity hardware you don't have to have like hadoop is built in so 
then you might ask if that is the case how reliable hadoop is right for example i am buying 10 cheap servers and setting up a hadoop cluster what if a server goes down what if two of them goes down hadoop can take care of it it has built in fault tolerance mechanism so you don't have to worry about that hadoop assumes that your servers will go down so it has built in mechanisms to safeguard against data loss